Hi, I'm Mike Jones, uh, owner of Insight Homes, and I'm here to show you our post-tension slab. Um, all of our houses, we always use a post-tension slab. We have for the last 15 or 20 years. The uh, reason we do it is because it, it's an insurance policy against possible settling or cracking of the house. The slab that we use is eight inches thick. Uh, we provide each one of our customers a 10-year structural warranty and that post-tension sl slab uh, makes sure that we don't have any problems at all regardless of what the soil conditions are underneath the house. The, um, this, uh, this home is ready to be poured. It's going to be poured tomorrow morning and you can see that the cables have all been laid out uh, on a grid and they'll, uh, that's been designed by a structural engineer and he uh, calculates what the loads need to be and the cable lengths and sizes uh, you know, and approves it structurally uh, as part of our, our plan process. Once they pour the foundation, uh, you won't see any of those cables, of course, and it, they're going to wait for the concrete to cure in about 30 days, and then they'll come with a machine and they'll apply the tension and then cap off the ends of the cables, and that'll form a, uh, a grid and uh, make the foundation a lot more, um, I don't know, rigid and less likely to, to uh, crack or, or um, be stressed with any kind of loads that's applied to it, usually from beneath the slab with something happening in the soil underneath the property. Rodney Miller, project superintendent. Hey, Rodney. Mike. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, Rodney's worked for the company for six years, now. six years, and he's in charge of all of our construction. Uh, he's a very important individual in Insight Homes. Um, so, what uh, what have we done up to this point to get it to to uh, look like this? Well, about two weeks ago, we did the underground plumbing, and that is about a about a week process between the dig and the putting in the septic and um, backfilling and getting the, the forms ready to uh, put the post tension in. Mm -hmm. how, how long will they wait before they actually do the post tension? The stressing? The stressing. Um, I believe it's about 10 days. 10 days, From the okay. time they pour to the time they stress. Right. And have you ever seen, now I've heard stories that uh, if there is a crack in one of our slabs, the uh, the crack kind of disappears. It, you can still see it, but you won't see the the heaving of the of the slab or the separation. It, it'll just stay tight. Right. Because each cable has about two thousand pounds of pressure um, stressed into it. So. Yeah. In, in your history with the company, have you ever seen a crack in one of our slabs after we've post tensioned? Not afterwards. No. No. Yeah. No. So that's. That's a good reason it's money well spent, and it's, uh, it's another reason why Insight Homes builds a quality house. The other thing is we don't just uh, do this. We have engineers come out and inspect all along the way. Uh, why don't you explain that to us? Right. So once the, once the cables are put in, um, we have a company that comes out and inspects the layout of the cables, the rebar of the cables. Um, Make sure, check the, the lengths of the cables, make sure they're all in the exact exact spot where they're supposed to be. Um, and then once the slab is poured, they will come out and witness the tension, tensioning of the cables. We, we do this with independent testing to make sure it's done right and make, as a double check of the employees who are actually doing the work, make sure they're doing, they haven't overlooked anything. And, uh, and then that, engineering company certifies the slab and that document is provided to the uh, town of Marana in this case 
or whoever the inspecting jurisdiction is.